Okay, so I installed this new um, alarm system. It's part of the Z-Wave uh, system. Uh, this is the alarm. It's right above my doorbell. It's got a red flashing strobe light and a really loud 100 decibel siren that goes off when it's tripped. And it's tied into my um, Z-Wave controller, which is controlled by the internet, and I can control it from a web page or a uh, cell phone or anything like that. So the idea is that um, when one of the sensors, either a motion sensor or a door or window sensor is tripped, then it would trigger off that uh, siren. So let's see if this works. And here's like a door and window sensor. And then here is my phone where I can activate the uh, I can arm it. So here I'm going to go ahead. I created a scene called Security Activate. I'm going to hit Run. Okay, so now it says that the security system is active. And so now, if I was to break this connect magnetic connection connection with the uh, door and window sensor, it should set off the alarm. Let's try it out. So I need to deactivate it, so I'm going to run the deactivate, and that shut it off. And so that also it basically put, disarmed the system by doing that. So I'd have to run the activate again to arm it. Um, I've also got it tied in with my, my door keypad. So now that's my deadbolt. This is also part of the Z-Wave system, and you can't open the door until you put in a code. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it, and then the idea, let's see here, run, that activates, that arms the system, the security system. So now, if I broke that connection with the door window sensor, it'll trip, but if I put in my code into the keypad, then that should deactivate the system because I'm coming home. I'm going to disarm the system by putting in my keypad to unlock the door, which should automatically turn off, deactivate, or disarm the security system. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my code. I'm not going to show you what it says, what my code is. Okay, so that unlocked the door. And so you can open the door now. It should have deactivated the... Um, the alarm system and I uh, don't know if it did it looks like it's let's try it out yep it did it just didn't update over here on the screen on the phone so let's just see here let me just refresh it oh there it is it says inactive okay so by putting in the code it uh, it deactivated the alarm system it's exactly what I wanted it to do